Hello Share Bears. Today's video is my update and my new bi-weekly makeup basket. I can say I've done very well using a lot of these products. So I will get right into it. As I said, I will not give you a full review. If I enjoyed these products, they will be in my monthly favorites. Um, some of them were in my April monthly favorites because of the crossover on it. So let's just get right into this. The first item I had in here was my L'Oreal True Match Foundation. And this is in C3. I did use this a few times. Uh, it's okay, but I guess you'll have to wait and find out if I truly loved it. The next item I had here was my Vice for Compact or Palette. And this is one of those ones that's impossible. Okay, so I have used, I would say probably three quarters of these colors. I reached for it almost every day. Almost. Not every day, but almost every day. Um, I did not reach for this, oh, this green, but I did use the other two greens. And I even used this green, which isn't exactly my favorite type of shade, but I did a really nice eye look with it. Um, I didn't reach for this one at all. This one looks like I used it completely the whole time because it's got a gouge in it. But when I was using it, I noticed like a silver patch in it. I'm like, what is that? And I ended up prying it out. It was like the powder pigment. Not the pigment. The color wasn't in it. It was like just the powder that's the filler in it. It was like a little ball of it in there. So it wasn't exactly what I wanted. So I just pried it out. So I did use it a fair amount, but it wasn't from me using I actually had to pry out a piece with a spatula. It wasn't eyeshadow. It was like a hard piece, but when you put it in your fingers, it like spread apart and it was almost like powder instead of eyeshadow. The next one I had in here was my Quo Spring Palette in Rocket. And this is hard to open even though I've been opening it constantly. I have gotten a lot of use out of this. I have especially been using these two shades, but I could tell you that on my eyes I'm wearing three of these shades right now along with stuff from my project pan. I've really enjoyed this palette and I'm glad I put it in here to use it. Then I had a single eyeshadow and this is Wet n Wild's Nutty and I did use this as well. This is Jinky because I have been I had to repress it. It shattered when I got it. So it is a bit janky, but I have been using it and I've actually been working on this corner and I've been putting it in my crease. I really, really, really love the single eyeshadows from Wet n Wild. Like, so pretty. I wouldn't say I went ham with it because of all the colors in the Vice palette, but I did use it a few times. Then I have another foundation, and that is the Estee Lauder Double Wear Stay in Place Makeup. And this I used probably more frequently than the L'Oreal one, I will admit that. It got kind of tipped on its side, so it looks like I've used less, but I'm actually right about here on it, and you don't need very much of this, and it does go on better with the Beauty Blender, I found, so I have been enjoying this. I do like it, and it's up there in my high-end 
foundations. The next item I had in here was probably the item I used the least in this and probably because I really found I didn't care for it. This is the Maybelline Color Tattoo Stick in Lilac Lust. When you swatch this, it looks absolutely beautiful. But it doesn't translate onto the eyes as well. And it was really sad because the colors in the Vice palette were really nice and popping. And I tried to pair it with this and it just did... It really did nothing. I think this is one of those ones where I'm going to have to use it on its own or just with a transition color in this just for a nice everyday look like really light look so I used it but it kind of was my disappointing product in this well no this is my disappointing product I will tell you that this is going into the trash soon okay so color the next item was my ColourPop Gel Eyeliner in Workout. It was a green, I did say. This made it into my April favorites. I used it a ton. It was pretty much new. I had used it once. And I used this a ton. I won't be continuing to use it because you'll see. Like I said though, it did make it into my April favorites. Next I have, where are you, I hate the smaller items, the Marc Jacobs eyeliner and it's just a deluxe size in black. I wound this up once and I used it every day in my tight line. This eyeliner is no joke, no joke whatsoever. I really like this. I would consider buying this in the full size but I have lots of product in here that is like no joke I've got it in my tight line today it is it's like one swipe and that's all you need and that's why it takes so long but even to get it off my hand after swatching it there it stays it's there now's the disappointing product okay this came in an ipsy bag and this is the Browsa Brow Pencil, and it's just a brown brow pencil. Okay, this works well when you can get it to work, but I like a sharp point. If I was to stick this into my sharpener right now and try to sharpen it, half of it would break off. And that's why I got it down that far, because the end is just a spoolie. This just to sharpen it is what makes it so disappointing and I'm actually pulling this out of my collection because I don't have time to fight with a brow pencil. That simple. I don't have time to fight with the brow pencil. So that was probably the most disappointing product in here. Next I have a Too Faced blush and this is just a deluxe blush and it was in Love Hangover. I have one in my project pan that I'm trying to hit pan on. I did use this a few times but if you saw the other one it's got no Too Faced symbol left on it but I do love that color and it pairs really well with a bronzer and do that with a bronzer and just a light look on your eyes. It's wonderful. Then I have another blush, and this is the NYX Ombre blush in Soft Flush. And my biggest problem with these blushes is that they're so hard to open. This is, it looks pink on there. This is more of a peachy, corally color, and it's what I'm wearing on my cheeks today. This is just like a beautiful flush color. I'm happy I put that in there. 
I can say I used all of these products at least once. At least once. Next in here was my bronzer and I chose the e.l.f. duo in St. Lucian. I think I called it Laguna, probably because you hear everybody talking about Laguna all the time. But I was just focusing on the bronzer and I like it. It's an okay bronzer but it does kind of fade over the day but I mean I can't fault it. It looks great when I'm first putting it on and it takes about six hours before I notice it's faded away but I will continue to use it. It's what I have on my face today so it can't be all bad. Then this one made it into my monthly favorites as well for April and this is MAC Soft and Gentle. I am so happy I used this. I'm wearing it on my cheeks today. It is just like a soft, soft gentle glow and I said I may like this more than Champagne Pop. I think I do like it more than Champagne Pop and I really like Champagne Pop. For the price though, I'm glad I like it. <laughs> uh, next is my IT Cosmetics Bye Bye Pores. I did use it, but I was kind of focusing more on my other powder. This is nice. I don't know that it like, diminishes all my pores, but it is nice. And I'm glad I got chance to use it in this bi-weekly makeup basket. Next I have a concealer and this is NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in Custard. This is a YouTube made me buy it. I have gotten quite a bit of use out of this. Um, the amazing thing is is how old this is and it's still creamy. Like I have no problem blending it out at all and it does stay but it's a bit too dark for under my eyes so it was one of those things where it was for cover up more than anything. And a primer and this is the Pore Professional by Benefit, the Pore Minimizing Primer. I use this quite a bit. I was using another one in my rolling project pan roulette too though. So I actually use this one today and it does do what it says. It's a great product and I'm glad I have it in my collection. And now that I'm less oily, I'm able to use it more often because before it was that it was too I was too oily and it just slipped. Now I've noticed it actually works the way it's supposed to work. Then I had a Mary Kay lip liner. This made it into my monthly favorites. This is in Spice Tea. Um, this made it into my monthly favorites in conjunction with next item on my list, which is Dolly's uh, bu the Buxom from uh, Buxom lip gloss in Dolly, and I was pairing these together, love them, and it was my go-to everyday lip look because it was just nice and neutral, and I could throw it on and. It would last and what can I say? It's Buxom Mary Kay lip liners. The only problem is is I believe that the lip liner is getting a bit old because it's getting a little less easy to put on. I am missing one of my products and I think it's probably in my purse. Okay, so I also had the Sephora nude pink lip luster liquid lipstick that I was using and 
it did get used obviously because I think it's in my purse right now because it's not here. So that got used. And then I have NYX Soft Spoken which was another one of my go-to's this couple of weeks. I I think this is probably my favorite color from them. It like looks really dark, but once you pair it with a nice neutral look, it looks really good. Like really good. So maybe my hand's darker than my lips. I don't think so. <laughs> then I have Marcel or oh, nope, Sephora lipstick in mm, like 3M's. Mm. This was also in my purse, obviously. I didn't see the other one. This is what I'm wearing on my lips today. I've said I love this lipstick. So, the last lipstick was Marcel in Frivolous Pink. This probably got used the least. And probably because of the day I was using it, I just didn't have time to reapply. Again, nice formulas. You will see if they make it into my favorites. And the last item I used, and obviously this should make it into my favorites. When I started this, I was about up here. Now I'm down here. I'm halfway through this tube. This is a Mary Kay eye primer. I'm using it again today. Love this primer. I have no qualms about using this primer on a daily basis. And I did, except for the one day I didn't wear makeup, and then I guess I just didn't do anything that day. So now on to the products I have picked for my next weekly or bi weekly makeup basket. I have them right here. I'm going to start with the face and I'm going to pull something else. Okay, so my first item is going to be my Kat Von D Locket Foundation. This is in Light 64 Cool. I will be pairing it with my Tarte Maracuja Oil just because I find that this can get a bit cakey if I don't. I do love this foundation, but if I'm not oily, it can be cakey. So I will be pairing it with just a drop of the Maracuja oil mixed in. Love this oil too, by the way. As a person that has acne prone skin, and I'm telling you to put an oil font, it's great. The next one I have in here is a BB cream and this is for oily skin. This has no SPF in it. Neither does the tattoo locket, but that's okay because I have SPF for my face. We're good. So this is the CoverGirl Clean Matte BB cream and I have it in 520 light. This is one that I got in February and I have not used it yet and this is on the recommendation of so many youtubers That's why I got it. So I'm interested to try it and see how it is Now let's get on to Bronzers I did not put Okay, now let's get on to bronzers I did not put a primer in here except for an eye primer. And don't you get it. Um, I picked the MAC Painterly Paint Pot to use. I do love this as a primer for my eyeshadow. And it lasts forever. Like, ever. I've had this since 2016, like the beginning of 2016. It's still creamy. I still like it. I've just been focusing on other primers and that's why it's been neglected. So I th I'm putting it in here because then I'll use it. Next I've got two bronzers I've pulled out. One of them was in a BoxyCharm box. And it is a liquid bronzer. And this is the... It was... No, 
I'm sure it's BoxyCharm. This is the Temp2 bronzer and I use it with a stippling brush. I just put a little bit on the back of my hand, stipple it on. This is really, really nice and I thought I would hate it. So for me to say that, I really, really liked it. The next bronzer is, like, I think this has become my holy grail. This is the Art Deco bronzer in number 80. The reason why I'm choosing this is because I want a great bronzer for my son's prom, which is tomorrow. So that is why I have chosen this. This is like oh, to die for bronzer. And I don't think I'll have any problems using that bronzer. <laughs> Now on to setting powders. I have two of them here. I have one and they're both high end. Both of them are high end. The first one I have is the NARS Crystal Translucent Powder. The reason why I got this was because of Young Wild and Polish, Nicole, loves this. I've seen so many of these in her empties and I just wanted to try it and I still haven't tried it. This is not cheap powder. I need to try it. So I actually just got this in March, but I have not used it at all. So that's why I'm putting it into the weekly makeup basket. And the next one is hell of expensive too, and this is the hourglass in dim light. Oh. I have used this several times, and I love it. And oh. nothing more said. This is from February of this year, and I've used it quite a few times. So I am looking forward to playing with it and having leeway to play with it because it's in here. Then I have two blushes. Both of them are fairly new blushes. In fact, they're both very new to my collection. The first one is a Milani Baked Blush in Bella Bellini and I bought this because I love the Luminoso beautiful. I think this will make great color during the summer and spring months and plus you got that little bit of glisten to it. It's just yeah. And then a new one to me and new to Avon or Marks which is a part of Avon. This is the blush in Flamingo Getter and when I hear flamingo, I think brighter pink than that. And there's one that's rosy and I'm like, it should be the flamingo. But there it is. It's just like a nice, neutral, dusty, mauve blush. Looking forward to playing with that. I'm running out of room. And you don't want to drop the stuff. Now I'm going to get on to my lip products here because I'm afraid they're going to fall all over the place. I don't want that, especially seeing that one is very expensive. So, for my lip products, for lip liner, I chose my Milani in Nude. That's all it's called. This is a sharpening type, but it's a nice color, so, and it'll go with I think every lipstick that I have in here. Then for a lip gloss, I've got a BH Cosmetics lip gloss and this is in Supermodel. I really haven't used this much and I got it in 2060. The biggest problem I have with these is the brush. I don't like a brush. I like a doe foot applicator, but it is a very pretty gloss. They don't seem sticky and that's a big selling point for me. Then I have a lipstick from Avon and this one is in 
Stolen Kisses. This is probably the darkest color I have in here of the <laughs> lipsticks. It's just right there. I love Avon lipsticks. It's probably my favorite thing of Avon. Then I have a Milani Amore Matte Liquid Lip, a lip cream, and this is in Pretty. And this is one I have not gotten a chance to use. It is right there. So I'm looking forward to this. As you can see, there's a theme. They're all pretty much neutrals. And then the last one I have in here is an hourglass lip stylo. These are freaking expensive, but I, I wanted one. That's what I got, one. This is in Creator. And this had better be the best damn lipstick I ever wear. I have not tried it yet, so I'm looking forward to this. I think this might be my lipstick for prom. Okay, now that I've got like 100 lip swatches on my hands, the... eye products I've chosen. Let's start with my eyeliner. This is another ColourPop eyeliner and this is in DTLA. It is a blue. There's a reason I chose a blue. There it is. My dress for my son's prom is a dark blue. So I wanted something where I could use my products and still have something that went with my dress so that's why that's it and that's why my nails are blue and if you see your Swarovski crystals on the ring finger next I have a single eyeshadow and this is Milani's Bella Rosa, Bella Rose or Bella Rosa, Bella Rose, and I have used these quite a few times. I do love these. These are just like bam in your face. Listen, it's gonna go good with the blue. All I can say, pink and blue go good together. Oh, I look as long as it's the right color of blue. And the last item I've put in here is a whole compact or a palette. And this is a Too Faced Natural Love palette. The reason why I chose this is because I haven't been able to use it enough and I really want to use it. There are some really beautiful colors in here. So this is one of those ones that I think I could put it in like a month and... I would never get bored of the colors in it. So that's everything for this bi-weekly makeup basket. Wish me luck. There's a lot in here plus using my Project Pan products. But I think I have a really good mix of products right now that I will not get bored. <laughs> that's everything for this video. Much love, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye for now.